Good morning, everybody. Welcome back for the morning meeting here at Cybertrain University. How's everybody doing on this lovely Monday, 25th of February? Good to see you, Ed. Ben, good to see you all. Happy Monday to all of you guys. All right, so listen, a lot of news came over the weekend. Uh, you could see that last week was actually really, really shockingly Friday. We had a great week uh, last week, and I told you, like, January's are kind of like, you know, come back from like, well, listen, usually Christmas holidays are really, really slow. But let me tell you, it was a great, great time to do swing trades when it came to the Christmas crash, which is what I call it. Um, but uh, when you get when you get more towards the end of January, February, March, you know, this is where is, is hump day this is where these are the best times to trade. Remember, people like don't like to do too much in, 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 in the uh, summer, summer times, but we're seeing a lot of great action in certain stocks that are moving. And uh, we're going to start off and talking about some of them. I mean, listen, it's all starting off with the China stocks. And uh, that's what it's all coming down to. So we're going to check them out. Plus, there's a bunch of other ones that are moving. I know that a lot of us got early here, 8 o'clock in the morning, benefiting from, benefiting from this TTNP. Great iceberg orders everywhere. Look at that on the matrix. It's gorgeous. But before we do that and go through that watch list, guys, let's talk about a couple of things. Um, first of all, we got uh, the K. HC that we traded last week. Just want to talk about these stocks. Oops, typed in the wrong window. KHC. KHC. Like a little fat finger. I keep typing the wrong symbol. But KHC was actually a really, really nice push uh, on Friday. Let me just fix the time slot. So you can see that stock got destroyed from 38. Great pre-market trading right around here, and uh, some of you guys benefiting from it. Remember, most of the money we make is in pre-market, and you know it's just that you got to be a little bit more advanced when it comes to stuff like that. But the, obviously, the stock dropped 36 down to 34. Great little winner right there. A lot of you guys did really well. The other big winner, but it was a little on the fast move, mover side, the Roku. Oops, again, fat fingers, again. R O K U. <laughs> I'm typing so fast. Uh, that one had a great pop. Started a little bit late, but right out of the gate, it wasn't really that much to show for in pre market, but that thing just took off from 54 all the way to 64. My God. And you know what? She's still very strong this morning. Not huge, but stock did really, really well. That one was pretty good also. Uh, a couple of the cheaper stocks, the DPLO we traded. That one, I mean, this was like taking candy from a little kid. Great, great short on Friday, right in pre-market. Boom, went from $10 from 14 the night before, and it just came straight down all the way to 8 all the way down. I mean, it started getting a little boring after a while. You know, I don't like to trade anything past around uh, after the first hour of the open. But this, in this case, this thing came all the way down to five dollars and eighty cents. Look, it never came back. So that one uh, did really, really well. One last one I want to talk about on our watch list is this one right here. This was a quick, uh, a quick fix right here. A C H V that we traded on Friday. A lot of you guys jumped in in pre market, right at the gate 9 30, boom, thing ran from 260 to 440, like literally within 15 minutes. You kind of made your day's pay right there. And a lot of you pretty much were done, took the weekend off. So that one actually was one of the nicer ones. Now, um, let's go through what's moving this morning because there are, I mean, shockingly today on a Monday, we're getting a lot of stuff that's moving on. Now, obviously, here what's going on uh, over the weekend, uh, President Trump's going to, to Korea to uh, meet uh, Kim Jong-un regarding about the trade talks. But I, that's not really what's making the market rally. A lot of it is what's going on with China. So, um Apparently, they said he's going to put some of the uh, tariffs on hold because talks are now starting to actually come to fruition. These people, I guess they're really, you know, they, you know, they starting to step up to the plate and start realizing, um, you know, they got to do something with America. You know, listen, we're a really big, big buyer. And last thing you want to do is uh, is 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 hurt your your biggest client. Right. Is that what they say? You know, let's say you own a restaurant business and you guy comes there every week. You don't want to you don't want to lose that guy. He's, he actually keeps you in business. So it looks like a lot of them are is making the market rally. And also not only that, but all the China stocks are starting to move. Now, we listen, we've been trading the China stocks. They started moving last week, so now you're starting to see it. This is why I was trying to tell you guys, you got to be a good day trader first if you want to swing trade because if you saw what was happening last week when we were trading some of these stocks, we're going to talk about the, the NIO, the Hoya, the IQ. Um, 
they started moving already, and we saw that already come into fruition. So listen, a lot of the stuff that you see, you know, when it comes to trading, you got to know what's going on in the markets, uh, you know, just in general around you, because it all comes out to um, – it all affects the stock market, and obviously that's where we're making our money. That's why we're here. So let's go over, over a couple of stocks. First of all, GE. My God, this thing is just taking off. Is that unbelievable, GE, where it is right now? What an unbelievable pop. GE, and I told you guys this when the stock got destroyed. I said, you know what? The best time to buy is when everyone's selling, okay? And when this stock hit rock bottom, it was not only – the only thing it was very hard to day trade because GE was very, very – very volatile as a day trade, but as a swing trade, listen, I know some of us all uh, have it around seven, eight dollars so you're looking pretty damn good right now, and people are kicking themselves in the butt like, oh, I wish I still had it where it is. Listen, the only thing I didn't like about GE was so damn slow. I'm not a fan of holding the stock for three months, you know, and making – Whatever thing went up about four or five dollars because as a day trader, if you break that up over you know every day, if you worked every single day, okay, and this is uh, what I'm going to talk about in my class uh, tomorrow. We've got phase three coming up. You know, people look at it like, wow, that's a big big winner, and it's great as a swing trade. But if you if you sat there and you divided that for every single day you came to work, okay, for the amount of money that you made and you started taking that profit. You probably made about 20 cents a day, maybe less, okay? So, yeah, it looks great, but there's so much more money made in day trading and, you know, because you see opportunities like this every day. So, yeah, it's a big winner, but, uh, but overall, that's why you got to understand what's going on day trading to find those big swing trades. So that one did pretty well. Anyway, uh, let's move on. There's a lot more to coming up because the market's going to open up in about 15 minutes. I want to get you guys ready to go. Uh, the TTNP, great iceberg orders everywhere. Look, 11,000 share buyer already sitting there at at three at 230. It's holding support levels right there. Very inexpensive stock. Very good spread, up 61%. Listen, if you were here at 8 o'clock this morning, everyone should have been in around 210. Only thing that's getting me a little nervous, she did back off a little bit. CLRB, another one that's moving pretty nicely, uh, gapped up pretty big, but she did take a little bit of a haircut right here. Only thing I do not like about it, she's breaking lower lows. So I might scratch her off. She might be a scratch. So she's going to probably be second or third protocol as of right now. JMB, I mean, I'm sorry, JMU. This one also, very inexpensive stock, up 17%. You got some decent orders coming up. I think this is a little bit of a sleeper. Uh, I'm going to put this up. You know, still going to be able to watch this up. 33,000 shares. Got a decent spread. Not terrible. Okay, let's talk about the China stocks because, you know, obviously with all the news that's going on, let's start off with NIO. Okay, for everybody that is a fan of um, – the, the, the fan of uh, solar cars and, you know, electric cars. This is the the company um, that's very competitive to, what is it, Tesla, right? So um, it's the Chinese version of Tesla. So they just went public. We traded. A lot of you guys remember we did make a lot of money with the stock when we traded when it came out. She's starting to break out a little bit. The stock breaks all-time highs. I think it could be off to the races. Stock was actually a pretty good swing trade, and it was a great buy at $6 on a swing trade. But you know what? Now she's going to be a nice little day trade. Hoya. Everybody remembers Hoya. We did really well on that IPO on Hoya. And Hoya now breaking out. Very hard to day trade Hoya. Very, very hard. Stock is very volatile, but uh, she's been a pretty good swing trade. IQ. We made a lot of money with IQ. Everybody remembers IQ. Let me fix this chart because you really can't appreciate it looking at this chart right here. But you all remember IQ. We, we watched the IPO. We went from 16 all the way up to about 45. Let me bring up the Hoya because it traded very similar to it when you look at the long-term trade right there. Stock went to 55. Listen. They hit major support levels. We saw the stock tank. You know, once you break all-time lows, that's when the day's over. But they didn't. So that's how you know how to day trade, guys. You should have, you know, everyone should have saw that. I know some of us have it, and that's great. IQ, there's the other one. Look at IQ right there. IQ is like uh, Netflix of China. So that's the other one. And then the other one this morning, uh, a little bit more on the affordable rate for some of you here. Oops, spelt it in the wrong window. C-I-F-S. There we go. 
So CIFS, this is another one, got destroyed. Look at this thing, went from 10 all the way up to 65, tanked, okay? Another um, another China stock right here. She's up, she's got plenty, listen, she's got plenty of room. <laughs> Look at all that room right there. So if you think you're chasing it now, imagine averaging down from 66 bucks, all right? So a lot of stocks that are moving uh, in the market. Once again, what, what? why is that? Well, you heard what's going on in the White House, and uh, this is a big, this is a very big deal with China, guys. So it's a great opportunity. And remember, there's always going to be opportunities. Like I talked about the new Green Deal that the Democrats are trying to pass. You know, focusing if that thing even comes to fruition, focusing on you know solar stocks and 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 wind stocks. I dealt I dealt with that before. That really that happened about like five years ago, but that could probably take off. Now you see what's going on at China stocks. It happened with um, you know with pot stocks. It happened with the banking stocks. So these are things that you learn on an everyday basis as a day trader. So let's keep focus on it. Uh, which of the uh, the Tesla? Oh, the Tesla stock of uh, of China is N I N I O. That's the, that's the that's that's a an electric car company in China. They don't have any earnings yet. So, but it looks like she's breaking all time highs. Nine dollars, yeah. So that stock could be a very, very interesting. Remember, we saw this happen with Crohn's, C-R-O-N. All right. All right, everyone. So you got your watch list. Now, don't forget, everybody. Um, we got phase three. It's coming up for all the gold students. We're going to trade live with me. That's going to happen starting tomorrow. Uh, the, you know, the final of the three phases of the classes. That's all, That only goes for all the gold students, gold, platinum, and diamond. So I'll see you guys there. Remember, you got to learn before you can earn. But when we got, what's going on this morning? Listen, if you didn't get any of the pre-markets, don't worry about it. We'll focus on, you know, the, just give the market about five minutes to open up. And then we have a new le lot of members that are starting here on Monday. Just remember, guys, don't be trading what we're doing. Just look, listen, and learn. And don't look at me. Look at the traders. See what they do. Um, because this is, not, I know, I know everybody wants to trade. Doesn't mean you should trade. So, uh, but if you like it, which I know you will, do it right the first time. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And uh, we'll see you back here at 2.30 to trade the afternoon hours. All right? Good luck, everyone.